Hello everyone, my name is Mary and today I have an angelically inspired tarot and oracle card reading for the new moon which is happening on Thursday, January 11th, 2024 at 6.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 11.57 a.m. UTC Time. So for this particular new moon, I wasn't, I tuned into my angels and I tuned into one specifically, um, Archangel Barakiel, which is the angel of blessings. So what a great angel to tune into. But the angel didn't give me any specific message or word or phrase or anything to work with. Um, I just dealt out a few cards and and we'll interpret them however the human collective, however you need them to be interpreted. So let's just dive right in. So here we go. Um, I'll start with the tarot cards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's the Ten of Pentacles, which is abundance. Um, it's like, it, it's physical world fulfillment. It's having the home, the money, having your health, having your family all around you, having your friends and all, having your, the situation in life that, that you can be the most proud of. Um, th and this absolute, like, this is Barakael's, like, this is one of Barakiel's calling cards. I think this is a message that it is Archangel Barakiel speaking to us. And the angel knows that we want all of this. And one of the things that I feel we need to understand, oh my goodness, is that gonna be too like light? I'm sorry, my cameras are not, not the best, but we're gonna work with it. One of the things that I'm getting from this angel is that God wants us to enjoy blessings upon blessings upon blessings. God wants us to have grace in place of grace already given. You know, it's like God does not want you to suffer and to struggle and to have all the, the nasty things that we're going through. This is not what we're meant to experience, however, just so happens that this physical world we're living in, this third dimensional earth plane that we're living on, it just so happens that it does have all of this. And all of this, believe it or not, is a blessing. Even the things that are hard, even the things that are difficult. Uh, the angel wants us to know that we are surrounded by blessings. You are already surrounded by blessings. There is nothing but blessings. There's nothing but blessings here. Look around, notice it. I know that, you know, being in poor health or not having enough money or being lonely or being unfulfilled in your work or um, having addictions or whatever it is that you're suffering, whatever it is that you're carrying might be difficult, but the blessings are far more abundant than those difficulties, far more. Because those things, those good things come from God and God is infinite. And the angel wants you to know there is no end to the amount of blessings. There is no end. Wow. So we have the Knight of Cups. That's so beautiful. I'm getting, I'm getting vibes of courage and solving problems. The Hanged Man. I think I'll deal out all the tarot card and read tarot cards and then read them together. The hanged man. Uh, the four of cups. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a vibe here. I'm getting a vibe. I feel like the angel is just easing us into this sort of this place of it's okay. It's okay to under it's okay to reach out for that blessing. It's okay to ask for what you need. It's okay to believe in it. It's okay to see, it's okay to look. So you can look now. You can look now. It's like the hangs man. I know I said I was gonna interpret only after all the cards were out, but 
Um, it appears that that's not going to happen. I need to move this out of the way. I won't have enough room. Um, but what I'm getting here is that with the Hanged Man and the Four of Cups is it's like when you're watching a movie, a scary movie, and you, you're, you don't want to look at something and you ask the person that you're with, you know, tell me when it's over. And the angel is like, you can look now. It's over. The, the scary part is over. The scary part is over. You can look, you can enjoy, you can enjoy your world. Yes, there might still be difficulties. Yes, there still might. Yes, you still have a past that might give you pain. Yes, you still might have a present that's very uncomfortable for you. But you can look now. You can accept your blessings. It's okay. It's okay to seek that which you want in your life. It's okay. It's okay. It's like the little mama bird pushing the baby birds out of, <laughs> out of the nest. Um, it's like, it's all right, it's time to fly. It's time to fly, little babies. It's time to fly. And like it or not, this is where you're going to be flying, right here in this world, right here where there's craziness and, you know, things that don't make sense and, and people telling lies. It's okay. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is an abundant place for you to go and scoop up all of your blessings and share them with the world. The Page of Swords. This is very close to a message I've been personally getting, so I hope that this is something that the whole collective needs. Um, and that is that there's, there's a, we've come to a major ending. We've come to an ending where there's no longer any, there's no longer any need for worry or for pain or for, um, you know, tensing up or, you know, you know, there, there's just no need for, for the old fears. They don't need to, you don't need to bring your old fears with you. It's like, do you ever move into a, a new space and your old furniture just doesn't work? And you're like, well, maybe it's time for a new couch, you know, or maybe it's time for a bigger dining room table or whatever. It's like, I need something different now. I need something a little bit different in this space. So you're in a new space, babe. You're moved, in, you're moved in to a new space in your life, in the world, in the third dimensional reality. A new space has come upon you and it's time to bring something new to that space, to bring a new perspective, to bring new dreams, to go and seek those dreams with courage in your heart. It's okay. The angel wants you to know there are blessings here. We started with the blessings card. We started with the money, health, happiness, well-being card. This is what this is. Is health, happiness, your um, abundance, your prosperity, having enough food, having enough time, having enough, um, you know, of everything. Having enough. And it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. The angel really wants us to know. The emperor. Ooh. That's interesting. Mm hmm <laughs> Oh, goodness. I'm getting such an interesting vibe from all of this. Okay. So, the message is... Folks, guys, listen. We're in a new space. We're in a new space. And having what you need to be healthy, happy, and abundant doesn't mean that someone else is not having it. It means that you have enough to share. It means that you have enough to, it means that your cup is overflowing and you can go and share your love and your prosperity and your abundance and your happiness with everyone else. That's what that means. It means that you have enough. And what I'm getting here very strongly, especially with these three cards at the end, is that it's time to make a new decision. It's time to decide that you're going to you're going to have the courage to go out and, and, and take what you need to to make yourself happy, to make yourself feel good, not take. You know what I mean? We're not not advocating theft. It's like 
it's like when you go, I'm trying to think of a good metaphor, it's, but the, the only one I can come up with is an all-you-can-eat buffet. And thinking that you, the only time you get to eat is the first plateful. You know, so you pile it up, and so you sit down, and now you're, you know, you for, you maybe you didn't notice the pizza station, or maybe you didn't notice the turkey, and you're like, well, I already got this food. Guess what? It's an all-you-can-eat buffet. You can go, you can push that, that plate, you can push it aside, you can go and fill up a new plate. It's okay, there's enough. There's enough. God has given you quite enough. The angels are saying with this card here, there is enough for you. There is enough. Go find your happiness, folks. Go find what makes you happy. It's okay to see your, the world from a new, pers a new perspective. It's okay to look at things that you were afraid to look at before. Perhaps there's, um, you know, aspects of the news or aspects of the world. Maybe you shut out a part of the world. Maybe a part of the world was giving you so much, so, so much of a headache that you're like, I can't, I can't look at this anymore and I'm never going to look at it again. Maybe it's time to look at it. Maybe it needs you to look at it. Maybe it can be fixed. Maybe it's beautiful and can be fixed and you're the one to fix it. Maybe it's time to take your hand away from your eyes and go look at the story that's playing out in front of you. Maybe it's a time to accept, not only to accept, but to, to receive your blessings, to receive, uh, to accept all that's being offered to you, to change your mind about things and to go and build the world you need. I know that there's pain. I know that there's pain. The angel is like, yep, this card, we're ending with it because we know that there's pain. The angel wants you to know that the angelic realm is well aware of the pain that you've been through, but this pain can't stop you anymore. Can it stop the emperor? Can it stop all of this that is moving you towards taking your, your, your abundance and taking your happiness and, and going out and, and just being okay with seeing the world? Taking your hands away? Like maybe back in 2020, we all decided the world is messed up and we're not going to look at it anymore. It's time to look at it. It's time to open up your eyes. Take a look at the news once again. It's time to, I know that it's negative and I know that it's all lies but you are different now. You are more strong. You are more intuitive. You are more knowledgeable. You are filled with the Holy Spirit in a different way than you were before. Your body has been upgraded and renewed. Your perspective is brand new and it's time to take the, to take up the sword again. It's like, um, it's like in the movie, the Lord of the Rings, the, the King, I forget his name. Um, there's like broken pieces of a sword and he looks at them in one of the movies and he's not ready. He's not ready at that point to, to take up his, you know, his birthright as the king. And then in the last movie, he's ready, you know, he's handed the sword, it's been put back together and he's ready to take his place again. The, the mistakes of the past need you now. All right. They need you now. And your heart is not going to get in the way anymore. All that is needed is a new perspective, is a logical perspective on what, what you've been in, what you've been facing, and how to fix it. And maybe the answers won't come to you right away. Maybe you have to go on a roundabout sort of journey to go searching for the answers and searching for your inspiration. Maybe it's all going to happen in, you know, in the most bizarre sort of unexpected way. Doesn't matter, but it's, this is you taking up the sword, the sword of truth. The sword of destiny, my friends, is being handed to you. And it's time to go and, and, and fix things. It's time to build a new world. It can't be done alone. You can't, it just can't happen, you know, without anybody's help. We all have to help build this new world. We've all been given a new perspective and there's something, and I want you to bring it to mind right now. There is something that you have not been looking at. There is something that you have said to yourself, I'm done with that. I'm not going to look at it anymore. My life is going to look different. And this whole thing, I'm, I'm just, I'm done with it. And the angel of blessings is like, you have already been blessed with everything you could possibly need. God is ready to shower blessings upon bless, blessings, grace in place of grace. 
down upon you. The angels are giving you a, 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 bath, a bath of light and love and blessings and grace. It's all coming to you. But what you need to do now is let it come and give it out to the world to help change the world. To take up your sword, the sword of destiny, to take up your place on the throne and to to take to, to, to make changes to look at the world as it is yes you can look at all the you can listen to the news you can you don't have to listen to it every day but what I'm saying is it's okay to look what's going on it's okay you will I know it's painful and I know you're gonna face pain you're gonna face painful things but you are far you are healed you are ready and the angels are with you. The angels are with you. So let's see what these other four cards um, have to say. Oh, there's five. Echinacea. The key word here is immune support. But I'm guessing that the immune support is the archangels themselves. That the support you have, the support you need is already been given to you. Do you know how viruses work, how the antibodies, you build up these antibodies? Well, you, you know, I guess you can get antibodies. I'm not a scientist, but I guess you can build up antibodies, you know, without even knowing it. You know, you can be exposed to something and not get sick. And your body just naturally responds. Correct me if, if I'm completely off on this. But the metaphor is you may not know that you have the, the protection the immune support, the protection that you need, but you have it. The angels are saying you have it. The angels are like, you've been blessed. You've been upgraded. It's like when your phone, you know, downloads the new operating system overnight and you're like, oh, I guess, you know, you barely noticed that it was happening. Um, and it's happened and it's all upgraded and, or, or your apps on your phone update themselves. It happens just now, it just happens without your looking at it. It happens without your trying. And now the app is brand new, it looks new, it's functioning better, the bugs are, you know, worked out, the kinks are worked out. This is what God is saying, that you have been upgraded, you have been blessed, you have been given a new operating system, and it's time to face those fears again. It's time to re-engage with life. It's like you've been circling the, you know, the, the airport, it's the runway's too icy or something, but now it's time to land. Now it's time to, to actually bring that plane down and get to your destination. I think we've been in a holding pattern, in a pause state, um, and the real change that needs to be made is ahead of us still. But you have it, you, you have everything you need. You have everything you need. This new moon is all about what would I do if I could not, if I knew I could do anything? What would I look at? What would I face? What would I try again? What would I, um, what would I resurrect? What dreams would I resurrect? What ideas about myself would I resurrect? What would I try if I knew that there was something new, new <laughs> in, inside me, you know? It's like those mornings when you wake up like super rested. You know, we all know what it feels like to wake up tired or to be like, oh man, I did not sleep well. But what about those mornings when you're like, whoa, I'm, I'm feeling great. I had a great night's sleep. I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm, I'm all pepped up. You know, let's clean the house. Let's paint the house. <laughs> let's, let's get something done today. This is you right now. And the angels are inside of you. The angels are moving you. They're walking with you. They're surrounding you with light and love. And the Archangel Barakael is like, you can bring about so much good because you're so protected. Yes, you're going to encounter some of this pain. And yes, you might feel at times like the Page of Swords, like you're holding onto a sword, you're wielding this sword that is way too big for you, you're not really sure what you're doing. Um, things are painful, things are scary, but the Emperor is here to tell you, the Almighty, you have the authority to step into this. You have the authority to do what you need to do. Go out, help people, do something, deliver your dreams they're they're ready and ripe to be spread around the world tribe wonderful and we have the elephant 
So what I'm getting here is I'm first of all these cards are not going to fit. They're just not going to fit. I've got two. I've got three more. Um, so what I'm getting is that it's okay. It's okay to connect with people once more. Do you remember those people? Remember those people that you said they were crazy in there, you know, or that political leader that you're like, no, that person gives me heart pain and I'm not going to think about them anymore. That person is a real person. That person is on the planet. That person is part of a system. And it's now time to open your eyes to the entire human collective and, and start forgiving people and start connecting with people that you may have never connected with before. It's okay to do it. It's okay to connect. It's like, it's like after COVID when people weren't afraid to, you know, interact, you know, there was still a lot of distancing and um, maybe there still is now, I don't know. But it's time, the time for that is over. The time for distance is over. The time for connecting with one another is over. Your body is stronger. Your mind is stronger. Your heart is stronger. It's been renewed. It's, re it's, over it's renewed and overflowing and you're ready. You're ready to receive love from other people. Maybe this cup that is being offered this guy here is love and support and connection to other people. And he's like, I'm not, I'm gonna pick and choose. I'm gonna let go of those people that I don't support me anymore. Yes, that's healthy. But we're not gonna make the world a better place by refusing connections that are being offered to us. We have to be a little bit more like this guy, the Knight of Cups, who's just ready to offer his heart to whoever will accept it. He has his heart on, he's wearing his heart on his sleeve. He's got it right there in his cup. He's offering it to you. He's offering it to anyone. And the reason he's offering it to anyone is because of this Echinacea card, this support. His heart has a natural support built in and it's called forgiveness it's called divinity it's called courage and this this support is allowing you to connect with people to to build the networks once again the networks of people that have been instrumental in changing the in changing the world before have sort of been destroyed and we've built up def, you know like walls against you know oh i can't you know, I've got to boycott this person and cancel that person and cancel this group and cancel that group and we're going to cancel everybody. No, we can't. We're all part of the human race. We're all part of this thing. We can't cancel each other. All we can do is start joining together to build something new. Maybe we all want the same thing. A happy, healthy world where we, we can all be free and um, where we can all ascend to our highest selves. Maybe that's what we all want and maybe this is how making that, the, building those connections and joining with one another is the way to do it. Clarity, oh my gosh, the crow. Clarity, destiny, clairvoyance. Isn't that a gorgeous card? Um, yeah, so we're going to have to squeeze here to fit this. These last two cards in. Um, so what I'm getting from this <laughs> I'm getting just, I'm just seeing like fireworks and lights and I'm feeling, you know, like revelations. I'm seeing like the curtain be pulled back. I'm seeing that the world is different now. You'll see it differently now. It's, you are different now. You have been blessed. You have been blessed with knowledge, with understanding, with new levels of everything. And it's time to go forth into the world in a new way, to connect to people, to build things, to step up into your place of leadership where you can build and start doing your work in the world in a different way, in a more strong, um, instrumental way. The Emperor is all about structures building structures, looking out over his kingdom and doing what is best for all of them, regardless whether he personally likes them all or not. He's ready to do whatever it takes for their safety. 
Are you willing to take on the, the same mentality of, of the emperor? Or are you going to, you know, kick out of your kingdom all the people and all the things that you don't agree with? Or are you going to bring this whole, are we going to bring the whole world with us as we change it? We have to be ready to forgive. We have to be ready to see the pain that, um, that the world has caused us and to, 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 to use it to move ourselves forward, to take care of ourselves while at the same time forgiving and connecting with others. The blessings can only come when we are ready to receive them. Let's see what these last two have to tell us. Reflexivity. So this is going inward. And I think that this, what this card is saying is that the he healing of yourself is something you have to do. It's not something the world has to do. It's something you have to do. And the angels are with you. You just call upon those angels. They already have like, you know, the IV in your arm. You know, you have an angelic IV in your arm. And anytime you say, turn up the volume on that angelic healing, turn up the volume on that love and that divine light, it'll come in. The healing can happen but it only happens from within. You can't depend on it happening from without. Yes, we're building a, connect, a connected network of, of people and souls that are all, all trying to do the same, ultimately the same thing, to build the best world that we can. Yeah, it might be difficult, but we can do it. So the first, I think, card that represents a sort of advice for us is to to take care of your own healing as you need to, but to do it with the support of the angels, to do it with un the understand divine understanding that you have gained over the past few years. Compassion. This is all about connecting. Oh my gosh, they're both water mandalas like on top and bottom. These are water signs for sure, watery energies. Compassion. So whereas reflexivity was us looking inward with our new um, and healing our own hearts, compassion is healing the hearts of other people. <laughs> could that be more perfect? Could it, could it be more perfect? The angels want you to know, and especially Barak, uh, Barakiel, this beautiful angel of, um, I hope I'm saying it right. It could be, I could be saying it wrong. I'll try to put the spelling in the in the comments in the uh, description but the archangel of blessings wants us to know that blessings are waiting for us blessings are waiting for us they are here for us a new world can be built a new world can be conceived where we can all be happy and healthy and abundant however in order to do that we need to awaken our compassions awaken our hearts and start healing ourselves by looking inward and healing each other by, lo by looking outward. These are the keys. These are like the little steps, you know, walking us forward, you know, looking inward and healing yourself, looking outward and healing others, looking inward and healing yourself, looking outward and healing others. You get the point. Um, but this is what I'm getting here uh, from these two cards. Overall, Overall, I think the theme of the message is it's time, it's time to, it's time to stand up and start fighting again for the, for the world that you know could happen, for the world you know is, is waiting. This this, this beautiful vision that you hold of, of your life and of life in general, it's time to fight for that. It's time to start doing things to bring that about. It's time to start connecting with people and it's time to start believing that you are protected, to believe that God loves you, to believe that you can make a difference. A huge difference. So my... Um, my prayer for you, for me, and for all of us is that we find the courage in our hearts to unconditionally love ourselves and others and change the world. Amen, amen, amen. Um, God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.